Food is the ingredient that brings us together. Traveling throughout uh, Morocco, visiting different uh, cities and trying uh, different dishes. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel, that way you'll stay updated throughout our trip. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again today. Uh, today we're going to be making some uh, Moroccan couscous and here are some of the ingredients that are going to go in them. So we got, uh, let's see, oil, turmeric, black pepper and ginger, chickpeas, we got beef, onion, coriander, tomato, this is salted be uh, butter, salt, and we got here some uh, veggies, so we got daikon, pumpkin, onion, cabbage, uh, this is similar to dill peppers, green and red peppers, uh, as well as some carrots is down there. So stay tuned as we make some uh, couscous. So you're just going to put all the veggies and the ingredients in a pot and it depends on, on the meat that you're using. So you can use a pressure cooker or just a regular uh, pot to cook uh, the meat. So we got the tomato, onion, as well as uh, coriander there. Now we're just going to add a spoon of ginger, a sp uh, spoon of black pepper. And then another spoon of uh, turmeric. And the next is the uh, salty uh, butter, one uh, tablespoon. A little bit of uh, salt. Next, we got one uh, cup of uh, oil. You can just now uh, mix everything together just to make sure all the spices are uh, mixed. And uh, next we're just going to add uh, the meat. Because actually, the meat is lamb. Earlier I mentioned it was beef, so just want to correct it, it's actually lamb that we're using. Now we'll mix it again just to make sure all the spices and the veggies are mixed with the meat and then we'll start it. So now once uh, we mix uh, the meat with the veggies and put it on top of the uh, fire or uh, heat, we're going to add the uh, chickpeas uh, in the pot. Okay, so now that uh, the onion is soft a little bit, uh, we're going to add the uh, chickpeas. The chickpeas were uh, pre-soaked for 24 hours, uh, so they're a little bit uh, soft. And now that they're added, we're going to uh, mix it and uh, let it cook for another little bit. Now we're going to add water enough that it's just a couple of inches above uh, the meat. And we'll cook it. until the meat is soft so cook it until the meat is soft. I'm going to add the veggies in the pot and uh, the time for the cooking the meat it depends on uh, how long it takes for the meat to soften and the water is also dependent on how much is left after so when you add your veggies and it looks like you know the water has dried up you can add some additional so here we're adding first the carrots as well as one tomato and got some daikons and uh, we're gonna add uh, so now the rest of the veggies. So we got pumpkin, and you can hear the adon in the background. Here we got zucchini. So when you're putting these veggies and you see that there's not a lot of water, you can add additional so that way the veggies are submerged in that uh, soup of water. Those, the last two are actually yam. 
here we've got a little bit more of a daikon of the zucchini and this is uh, bell pepper one bell pepper and then we got uh, some uh, chilies and we're going to add those actually later here's the uh, couscous you can find it in uh, superstore uh, in the international uh, products or ingredients sections also you can uh, find it in any Middle Eastern or Arabic grocery stores as well. So these are the steps on how to actually prepare the couscous itself. Uh, for four people, we're using half a kilo of couscous. Now we're going to add half a cup of oil, and we're using a uh, basically a bowl that that way we can when we add the oil, uh, water, uh, if the water doesn't sit in. It. This is the easier way of doing it because. The harder way you actually have to steam the couscous three times and using this method we uh, use hot water and only have to steam it once. So before adding the uh, water make sure that uh, the oil you mix it um, with all the, the couscous so that way you don't have any part that is dry and uh, there's nothing that's actually like a ball or, or big pieces inside there so make sure everything is smooth. We're going to add a little bit of uh, salt there as well and then just keep mixing that. Keep mixing it to make sure that there are no lumps and the oil has been uh, mixed thoroughly with the pieces. Now we're adding the hot water and a couscous. Okay, so the couscous not a preparation, so the dish they call it kasriya, it's basically made out of clay. And we didn't they didn't have to do too much with the couscous, so it's just basically the oil, the hot water, let it sit and it's, it's ready. And now it's just a matter of uh, breaking down those lumps. You can see all those big little lumps. You want to break it to make it uh, the couscous be fine. And then just be grain by grain rather than being, having those small little lumps in. And that's about it for now until we get the meat and the veggies. So now they're just going to uh, steam the couscous. Underneath is the meat with the veggies and on top we'll put the couscous to uh, steam it. Uh, so this is the couscous, we got some extra sauce on the side that you can top it with and this is a uh, sauce, it's made with onions and uh, Raisin. raisins. Uh, so it's just the couscous is in the bottom and then we got veggies and the meat uh, on top. So let's give it a try and see how it tastes. So we got here some chickpeas as well as... Mmm! <laughs> it's really good. The couscous is really soft and it has actually absorbed all the sauces from the veggies. It's really flavorful and the veggies are really soft. So, really, really good. We are uh, making the marinade for uh, kebab. Or, uh, this we got some uh, onion, some uh, cilantro, and you can use uh, parsley as well. I'm just going to mix it up. Okay, now we're going to mix that uh, with the meat. 
So we got here, yeah, here we got uh, some uh, lamb. Cut in uh, three size pieces. And that's a mixture of the uh, cilantro and onion. And we got, we're gonna add one spoon of black pepper. And one more. So two in total. I'm going to add uh, some cumin. Just one and a half spoons. Paprika. One spoon of paprika. Second spoon. So two spoons of paprika. Coriander is next. Coriander, sheep, uh, cayenne um, is next, or just basically chili. So there's two uh, spoons of dried chili and some uh, salt for the season. It was based on your flavor, how much you like. Last but not least is uh, vinegar. Got uh, one uh, tablespoon of vinegar, just a little bit of uh, oil. So I think that's about uh, a tablespoon of oil as well that we want to add. And that should be enough. So we're going to mix everything and let it sit for a couple of hours, and it's going to be ready for you. like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions for our next video that we'll be making from Morocco or if you like us to uh, make a certain video on any specific food items from Morocco please don't forget to uh, write it in the comment section below.